à tous ou DDO, attention pour des comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage moteur vulcain. Allumage confirmé. Top, allumage UAP, décollage. Lift off, c'est parti. We've lost her visually, but we can hear her. What an amazing thrust. The, the whole sky is vibrating. 540 tons of thrust each for the EAPs. Two tons of powder consumed per second. That's 90% of the thrust which is given from the very beginning. And these EAPs are going to be working a little bit more for a little bit more than two minutes. So 240 tons of powder. You can really hear them thundering across the sky. So it's going to be the end of the work soon for these two EAPs, which are going to be jettisoned from the main body of the rocket. Uh, because uh, everything that is dead weight, of course, is uh, useless, and that should be happening within the next few seconds. There we are. So what's the next step? The next step is going to be the crucial altitude of 100 kilometers when the fairing will be jettisoned. Yeah, because beyond these 100 uh, kilometers, there's no friction, no vibration, and uh, it's almost uh, interstellar void here, so no risk for the satellites. So the fairing can therefore be ejected at around 170 kilometers, and the fairing is 2.4 tons, although it's uh, beehive uh, composite material. Uh, so it's now lost 2.4 tons. All is proceeding normally on board Ariane. Propulsion and trajectory are perfect as we await confirmation now of the scheduled EPC cutoff. That is the extinction of the lower stage engine. And you'll hear the DDO, the range operations manager, confirm. And there you see on the animation the separation of the lower stage. The DDO has just confirmed it. And you saw on the animation ignition of the upper stage. Three commands given by the onboard computer in a space of about 11 seconds. We are now in the final flight phase. No more power. So what's happening? The upper composite is now beginning a series of maneuvers to reach the position from where it can release the satellites and the SILDA. We have to separate the first satellite ABS in one direction and one altitude. Well, there you are. The good news, successful delivery of our upper passenger ABS-2. There's happy faces from the ABS side there. We're waiting for the DDO to confirm separation of the solo. That's the black bell-shaped structure on the bottom, and you can see there it's going. Pushed away from the mothership and confirmed by the DDO at the same time, revealing to the elements, Athena Fidus. You heard the applause. Uh, the final good news, Ariane 5 has successfully separated her second passenger. See what that looks like up there. Athena Fidus, and right on target, 1,982 kilometers above. So some happy faces. Thumbs up. We love Ariane. Uh, lots of uh, champagne and cigars coming. We are sure people very happy, especially after the, uh, the delay we had. Thank you.